Today is Tuesday, January 27th, 2015. New York City was shut down last night due to a massive storm. I'm Zach Arnold. And I'm Aaron Murphy. Does a blizzard mean that there's no global warming? Scientists say it, prove, it proves warming is happening. Your CSN News starts now. New York City was shut down overnight uh, and was spared the worst of a snowstorm that swept across the Northeast early Tuesday and slowly returned to its normal rhythms as travel bans were lifted and transit services gradually restored. But even as buses and trains began to move again, the widespread closings left the city virtually deserted in the early morning hours. Grand Central Terminal was deserted. Times Square was quiet and the streets of Lower Manhattan were largely empty of financial workers. Up to three feet of snow are expected in other parts of New England. Climate change scientists say the storm isn't a big surprise. Big snowfall, big rainstorm, we've been saying this for years, says climate scientist from the University of Illinois in Urbana. More very large events becoming more common is what you should expect with climate change, particularly in the Northeast. The Northeast is prone to extreme precipitation dealt out by global warming. With the region seeing the biggest up, uptick in the severity of the more severe blizzards or rainstorms across the United States. Such heavy storms have increased by more than 70% in the past and 60 in the Northeast. The NFL has zeroed in on a New England Patriots locker room attendant who allegedly took the AFC Championship game balls from the officials locker room to another area on the way to the field, Fox Sports reported, citing sources. According to Fox Sports, the league has interviewed him and has video. The NFL is still deciding if any wrongdoing occurred, but they now have a person of interest. The location in question is a bathroom in which the attendant can be seen in the video entering and exiting in 90 seconds, with the 24 footballs provided by both teams, according to the Pro Football Talk, which cited an anonymous league source. We'll be right back after this. Our club is now up and running and accepting new members as of today. If you're in a sport or other after school activity, you can join in at any point throughout the year. Our club is all about school pride and helping the misfortunate. We paint faces at numerous school events and do personal crafts in the meantime. Various other activities will be announced on the morning announcements or in the meetings. Meetings are every Thursday from 2.45 to 3.45 after school in room 303 of the art building. If you have any more questions about Art Club, please contact Ms. Conley for more information. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 41 with a low of 21 and partly sunny. Tomorrow's high is 43 with a low of 31 and also partly sunny. Sports Med Club has a meeting tomorrow right after school in the athletic training room. We'll be taking a group picture for the yearbook. See Opal if you can't make it. Also, winter golf has started and runs on Monday and Wednesdays through February 19th from 3.30 to 5 in the green room. See Coach Lofmiller if you have more questions. Come to New York City with the Travel Club next spring. We will see a Broadway show, visit the 9-11 Memorial, ride the subway, see the Statue of Liberty, museums, and so much more. It's a trip of a lifetime and you won't regret it. Friends and family are also welcome to go, so talk to Mrs. Dodge or Mrs. Levi if you have questions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time of the year for 2015 Bulldog Brawl. The premier sporting event of the year will be held February 7th. Doors open at 6 p.m. and fights start at 7. Tickets are on sale now. See Coach Cho or Coach Sanchez for more details. Please come support NHS, NHS athletes and amateur fighters. Wednesdays, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes will have guest speakers and everyone is welcome to come listen. Trevor Horn, a college football player from the University of Puget Sound, will be speaking in room 201 right after school. There will be snacks and you can bring friends. See Mrs. Levi if you have any questions. There will be a National Honor Society meeting after school in Ms. Stanton's room. Please see Ms. Stanton if you cannot attend. Also, the yearbook picture for the library aides will be taken this Wednesday, January 28th, at the beginning of third period. Please meet in the library at 1025. Valentine's Day is approaching, and many of you don't know who your Valentine will be or if you picked the right one. Thankfully, the speech and debate team is here to help you by finding out who your ideal match is. We will be selling your ideal match Friday 9th through the 13th during all three lunches. 
Make sure you know you've picked the right Valentine before the big day comes. Today's SAT word of the day is eccentric. It's eccentricate, a verb that means to untangle or release from a difficult situation. You could use it this way. Seated at the dinner party between the two most boring men she had ever met, Paula wondered how she could gracefully eccentricate herself from the situation. That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Bulldog Edition.